Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's designing their a logo for themselves and wanted to be able to cut it out. And there's a few problems. I think in the original logo, I don't think you want these text. So I've ungrouped everything. I'm just going to hit delete. This started out as an SVG file. And <clears throat> everything looks pretty good except for the flower. And the flower looks good. It would actually engrave good. I would do a couple of things. I would get rid of this gray, unless you're going to run it in two passes. And I would leave this just a natural wood. And then there's some gray curly cues in here. And I would just go and make them an RGB black. Also, the whole thing is an RGB black, but it's a, I would go ahead and click on the whole thing and make it just pure black. And then they want to cut it out. Well, the, uh, these pieces that aren't joined are going to have to be joined to cut out. So we're going to take the shape tool and we're just going to grab these two shapes. And now you can see I'm kind of messing up the flower, but, and, uh, but it pretty easily fixed. Let me back up and zoom in here so we can see what we're doing. Just grab one of those nodes and bring it over there. Just kind of join these flowers. Now we made it quite a bit thicker, so you can do that. You could maybe hit that node and delete it. Um, bring this out a little bit. You know, make just the flower a little bit thicker. I'm not gonna do all the work. Just gonna give her some ideas. Uh, same thing here. I would just grab these two nodes. And now, you know, we messed that one up quite a bit, but it can be fixed. And just take that and, and move this handle here. And you've got to always keep in mind it's a flower. It's, it's mother nature. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. But if you just go through it and move some nodes around, whoop, I grabbed the, the other side. You don't want a hollow point like that. So let's grab... Let's tell you what, let's hit and delete those nodes. And then we can just join those two nodes right there. And then you could spend uh, however much time you want. I don't like that going on past the flower, so I'm just gonna delete it. And there again, just use your handles to make it thinner. The interior breaks don't really matter. They're really fine, but I've already looked at them. They will engrave. Um, they are a um, RGB color, so it'll lightly engrave. Uh, we need to fix one more, I think, break in it. Maybe not. Maybe I got them all. But I would just go through here and like this right here that's kind of got a square corner. Uh, one thing you could do is maybe take those and um, close the curve. Let's see what happens. That didn't work. Uh, one thing we could do is grab them all, go up to Tools, or go to Windows, Dockers, join curves and I've got mine set on pretty low and just hit apply. And that kind of breaks, joins all those together. And there's a lot we could do. We could probably even delete those now. No, you can't. It's not joined that good, but just take, you know, some nodes and you can even double click on it and make a new node and make that a little thinner. And I'm not going to, and I don't, she's saying she wants to cut it out. Well, I don't know what they want to cut out. Let's say, so I've got my, the thing is almost 18 inches big, so I've set my nudge factor on 19. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna use the boundary tool and the boundary tool is gonna put a boundary on all of it. I don't like, uh, well, so it's what it's doing, it just took the, outer, the exterior part. <clears throat> now, if she wants to cut it out, that'll cut out. But my suggestion, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what she's planning to cut it out and put it into something. Um, you know, and actually have uh, different colors of woods. But one thing you could do is take that item and go to effects and contour and contour to the outside just a small amount. And because of the fact that it's so large, that small amount will probably work. And that looks pretty good. And then just click on it. So I'd go ahead and select it all, go to object, break the contour apart and grab the center and then move that out of the way. And now here's your new contour that's thicker. And you can left or right click and make that a cut line. So while we have this, let's just take this entire thing. And it says it's made up of several fields. We just left click and now it's all an RGB black. Now take this and just nudge it up. 
So that's going to cut out uh, individual letters and, and the whole thing is just going to fall out. And so you can engrave it and, and, and glue it on some wood like that, you know, glue those pieces. The only other option, if you're going to cut the whole thing out, would be to maybe hold down the, select it all, hold down the shift key and double select the rectangle tool. And then that'll cut out and it'll be engraved. It'll be like a board. Um, maybe she'll email me back and, and tell me more about exactly what she wants to do. But that would work. I mean, she could engrave it on anything and then she could cut this out of wood. And there's a few, you know, hiccups right there that I would fix. And it's because of that. So when you contour something, it contours, it does what you're asking it to do. So you could, um, let's take it what, let's take this and go up to object and well, let's ungroup, let's, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's uh, left click, no fill, right click and outline. And then we can fill it in with black. I don't know that we're going to be able to fill it all in, but take your smart fill tool and fill in the blacks and or whatever color you want. Now she had mentioned in the email and I didn't really read it too much that she was going to color map it. Well, that, that, you know, you could do the same thing. If you wanted that gray part that we had in here to be gray, you know, you could fill, fill in the flower with gray or whatever and run it twice on gray, you know, run the black and run the, run the gray separately. But what I was going to show you on this right here, let me back completely. And that, that hiccup is from, we got those, remember we had all those nodes. So we need to go and go to object and break the curve apart, which is not what we want to do. So what we can do is go ahead and do it again and click on it and right left click, right click, and take the virtual segment delete key. And um, under the crop tool and just delete those lines. And now when you fill that in with black or what other color, and you could always fill in and then make it black. <clears throat> now, if we do the same thing, we've kind of fixed that problem. Let's delete this. And let's go here and use the boundary tool again and do this and use the contour tool again. I've got everything still set the same. Don't always forget to go and break the contour apart. And then if you grab the inside, you're grabbing the red and you can actually see it down here that you've got red 500 points. And then we can move the, this up and make it red and a hairline. So double click on your pen tool go to hairline and click on it and press okay. Now that's a cut line. And let's look at the difference now of around the top of that flower because we got rid of that hiccup. Well, we still have a hiccup. I don't understand how it's, why it's doing that. Let's go to, let's look at that under view and wireframe. And there, I'll tell you what, let's move our contour back. And looking at it in a wireframe, uh, you can see that hiccup. So maybe we could take that line and just slightly adjust it, make it more look like a flower. Now there might be two, two lines there, but since it's an inside line, we can delete it. And um, looking at everything else, I think it looks good. And then look back at it under view and enhanced. Now the flower's got a more rounded edge. I think I'm rambling, but I'm hoping I'm getting the point across. And then just, the contour is good, so just jump it back up. And then that should cut out and leave you a little bit of wood on the outside. We've still got some weird points. Now, one thing we can do, um, let's back up here. Let's, um, let's take this and get our, delete that and, and take our normal uh, boundary tool. And then let's, this time let's uh, contour it with rounded corners. 
It's going to take just a second. And then same thing, go to object, break curve apart or break contour apart. Grab that inside of that flower, move that out of the way, and then move this up. So let's go ahead and make it red. Don't forget to change it to a, con uh, to a hairline if you're going to cut it. And then move it up. And that got rid of that roughness on that flower because we used rounded contour. Now, we've still got a little bit of a hook hiccup there, but that can be fixed. You know, you, you can actually mess with the contour line and uh, do what you want to long, as long as you keep it, you know, inside that flower petal, uh, you can move that line quite a bit. Like right here, we're too close. So you can just take that tool. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Take that tool, get rid of that node. I don't know why that's like that. But then you could take this tool and get the handle. Whoop. Get this handle and move it. And just kind of check your contour all the way around. Now, when you have multiple nodes like this, you can delete them. It'll make a smoother uh, cut, smoother transition. Now, like right in here where the lines are kind of coming together, and it's just because it's so many items in here, uh, you want it you want it off that line. A couple other hiccups like right here, same thing. For some reason, I don't know why it's doing that. I'm going to delete all these nodes. Take that handle right there. I actually made a new node. Let's delete it. Whoop. I just deleted the line. And then just take this handle, and you can move that handle out, and then move this handle out. Move this one again. You just want to watch that red line get off of that. We can actually probably delete that node. And... I'm making this video way too long. But anyway, you just have to go around there and kind of look at your cut line. Now, the only thing I would suggest would be to take them and move them out of the way and select the whole thing and make sure there's no outline. So we're going to right-click no outline. And that way, that for sure won't cut. Or you could make an outline, make that a little bit thicker, engrave a little bit more, and then just make sure they're not, you know, something like 500 points or half a point so it will not engrave. So that should be good to go. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.